digital romance TV. Welcome to Digital Romance TV. My name is Sammy Wunder. I'm a certified dating and relationship coach for women. And I help women who are crazily successful in their careers to also become crazily successful in their love lives. And how do I do this? I do this by helping them reconnect with their feminine energy, with their sensual goddess energy, which all of us women are born with, but some of us have just lost touch with it. Okay, so that's what I do. And in today's short video, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you three ways on how to deal with a very critical situation, which is how do you handle it in a feminine energy way when a man withdraws? So let's face it, uh, every woman has experienced a man withdrawing at some point or another in our lives. I have too. And um, whether you're dating and he stops calling, um, whether you are um, in a committed relationship and you all of a sudden feel like he's not really sharing enough with you, he seems a bit withdrawn, or maybe you're even married for 10 years and all of a sudden you feel like your husband just wants to be in his room and he doesn't want to talk about anything with you. So that's what withdrawal looks like. And believe it or not, it's very common. Men withdraw, they like to go into their caves. Um, and as women who are practicing feminine energy, it's so important uh, that we know how to deal with these situations. In my work, I call it the make or break moments. Um, why make or break? Because if you know how to react when a man withdraws, if you know how to react in the correct fashion, in the correct manner, in a productive manner, uh, men come back very quickly and it's all good. The relationship carries on, the attraction builds up as uh, always, and everything is good. But if you don't know how to react, then you can, in these make or break moments, start to act in ways that are actually damaging your relationship and will damage the attraction he feels for you. And it can set up this sort of downward spiral where you try to uh, fix things with him and you try to fix um, what's going wrong and then he sort of reacts badly and then you try again and it sort of goes down and down and down and you get caught up in this spiral and you don't know what to do about it and how to get out of it. Okay, so don't do that. Do the three steps um, that I'm going to give you. So the first step is give him the space. I know, I know we've all heard this before and it's very hard to do. Um, but here's why. Here's why. I want to give you the why of this space. So what happens is that let's say this is your relationship and you're close and you're intimate and you're happy and you're spending a lot of time together and talking a lot together uh, and all of a sudden he withdraws which means that he steps back and how does this feel? Well, when he steps back, he literally creates a gap between the two of you. And this gap feels very hard for us women to take in. We start to feel anxiety. We start to feel tense. We start to feel insecure. What happened is, did I say something wrong? Did I do something wrong? Why is he withdrawing? And then what we want to do is we want to jump in and we want to fix it. Honey, did I do something wrong? Or if you're dating, hi, you didn't call. I didn't hear from you for the last two days. Yeah, those kind of things are the fixing things that we automatically, instinctively, uh, as women, want to do. And what does, this ha uh, what does this result in? It results in the man taking a step even further away. So he literally withdraws when we jump in. Yeah? And this, as you can imagine, if a woman doesn't know that this is happening, she doesn't observe this happening, this can be a really bad scenario that can set in the relationship. You fix, he steps back. You fix, he steps back. So you don't want to do this. When a man is withdrawn, you want to notice it and you want to stay where you are if he withdraws let him withdraw you stay where you are you give him the space he needs okay and what this does is if you can stick to this if you can stick to um, giving him the space he needs when you see that he's withdrawn it's going to make him come back 200 times faster i really promise this he's going to notice you he's going to say wow like she let me be she gave me the space i needed and he's going to step back okay so step number one give him the space step number two is make yourself happy so i know so many women who say okay sammy i'm giving him this space but i feel so awful and i'm missing him and i'm thinking about him this is not the vibe you should have okay because what will happen is if you sit in this uh, 
sad, clingy, needy vibe. When he returns, this is the vibe you're gonna give him, okay? It's totally not attractive. So go get out, focus on yourself and make yourself happy. So this is step number two. It's very hard, we're sensitive women. We sort of catch on to the energy of the relationship of the man and we, want, we feel down with him when he feels down, but this is not constructive to our relationship, okay? What is constructive is that when he's feeling down, we go, we take care of ourselves, we make ourselves happy, go out with the girls, enjoy a drink, watch a movie so that we are filling ourselves up with what he's not giving us okay so he's not giving us attention so we give ourselves attention and we fill ourselves up so that we don't feel needy and clingy and step number three so while you've been taking your care of yourself and if you've been giving him the space he needs he's going to come back this is very normal man behavior he's taken his cave time He's sorted out whatever he need, needed to deal with and he's back, okay? For him, nothing really is wrong, okay? And if you are going to greet him in the way most women greet him, which is negatively, which is like anger, where have you been? Why haven't we been talking? I feel so disappointed. I feel so neglected. I feel so ignored. Then he's going to sort of not feel inspired to return to you the next time. So... This is uh, step number three, greet him positively when he does return. It's very important. I know I'm not asking you to neglect your feelings. You definitely need to let him know that it would feel good next time to be involved in whatever's going on for you, or it would feel good to, uh, yeah, just to be told that you need your space because otherwise I feel clueless about what's going on. Yeah, it's all right to say those things. It's absolutely legitimate to share those feelings with him, but you want to do it in a way that he can listen to them and he will not be able to listen to them if the first thing when he comes in is you sharing all this negative emotion so greet him positively it's a good thing that he returns it's better than him not returning at all right so those were my three steps give him space focus on yourself and make yourself happy and when he returns be soft open and positive share your feelings with him on the way in the conversation but that's you don't want to start on a negative note when he does return okay so those were my three steps they are guaranteed to bring a man who is withdrawn in the relationship back if he's your man of course um, and uh, this was the iceberg a little bit of what I teach in feminine energy I tried to create a small video for you but if you feel inspired and if you found this helpful, you're very welcome to join my private relationship support group, Wunder Divas. Just search Wunder Divas on Facebook, W-U-N-D-E-R, Wunder Divas. You'll also find the link to the group um, in the bio section below of the author. And I will see you there. I have lots of free, amazing content and advice for everyone who feels inspired and for whom this was helpful. And then I see you on the group. Bye-bye. If you've got a cell phone in your pocket or purse right now, then you've got everything you need to create incredible romance and passion with the man or woman in your life at the push of a button. Go to digitalromance.tv forward slash TRB to see Michael Fiore make an entire audience of women in the Rachel Ray show swoon and learn how to use tiny little text messages to have the relationship of your dreams.